What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Sand the Beer Guy channel. So today we're checking out the Yamaha CFX Grand. Uh, this is a revisit. I've done a review on this one before. Um, I got it about a year ago, so January of last year. And I thought it'd be fun to go through it again because this is one of my favorite pianos. Um, it is so well recorded. It's just such a great piano. Um, it's based off of the uh, Yamaha CFX Grand, which is like a two hundred thousand dollar like grand piano. I mean, this thing is the real deal. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna dig into it again. Um, if you saw a video from me last week, I launched a Patreon. Y'all can go sub. You can get the MIDI file from this session. Um, which reminded me to just record just now, uh, but you get the MIDI file from this session, so you can um, plug it into Logic or Pro Tools or whatever you're using, and just see what I'm doing. I get asked for it a lot, so uh, if you want to do that, that's available. The link will be in the description. Also, like, sub, share, comment, all the things, because that helps me. All right, so let's dig into this thing. Um, just a little disclaimer. You know, there's a lot of different libraries out there, and they all kind of have different lanes. If you've watched this channel long enough, you know that I've talked about this. They all they have different lanes and what they're trying to do. You know, you have um, like a Keyscape, who uh, is it's a very produced library, like out of the box. It's ready to go. It's gonna fit a lot of your pop and modern um, things and, and types of genres really well. Would I take Keyscape to a classical gig? No, I wouldn't. Uh, then you have things like Piano Tech. That's like the other end of the spectrum. That is just you know, here's the the raw sound, and here's a million features on how you can tweak a piano. It is a piano tuner's, like, piano. It's just, it's got so many cool things. Uh, then you have felt pianos, which are obviously very different from Grand's. The CFX Grand is kind of somewhere in the middle, and that's not a bad thing. Um, it's not fully featured um, to the degree that Piano Tech is, but it's also not bare bones, just produced and keyscapes produced really well but keyscape is just produced and so you, you have this kind of middle ground that the garretton cfx lives in and i love it if i was teaching piano lessons or i was um doing a college course or something we were playing a piano and we had to use a library i would have them use cfx because it is probably the most most authentic authentically recorded piano I've ever played. I speak about as highly of this piano as I can. The only thing I don't speak highly of is the loading times, but that's okay because once you get it loaded, which can take, you know, on a slower computer, five to 10 seconds, or on a, a nice SSD, it can take a second. Uh, once you get it loaded, you don't have to worry about loading it again. And there's not a ton of presets you have to flip through. So uh, that's really the only criticism I have this library. And that's not even a real criticism because that's just, it's a big library. And part of why it takes so long to load is because it's so big. And so you have to load that. And so, um, yeah, again, I love this piano. So I just, I want to get into it. So um, presets are real simple. So you just got... Uh, the full version compact is just uh, my understanding is just less samples. Um, the only reason you would use that is if your computer just can't stream that information quick enough. Um, I wouldn't use that just because it takes it's quicker to load. Just spend the extra five seconds loading these up and use these. Um, we're gonna get into the classic and let's just use the default. Um, so that's how long it took to load.
It just it just feels right. Um, so you got some of your basic features. You know, you get your tuning. You can do some tuning if you want. Uh, that's really nuanced. Um, you know, your pitching, whatever, whatever. You get your mic perspective, so you can flip mic perspectives around. So you can have your, um, you think audience versus stage perspective, or if you're in the audience, you're going to hear. Um, you know the right and left stereo field in one way but if you're sitting in front of the piano you might hear it in a different way and so you can flip those fields around i'm pretty sure that's that's what that is so yeah i don't know why you would necessarily do this because that's that's i don't know i guess you could if you wanted to i've never used that but it's a cool feature um here's it is telling you what mics it's using um and then here's your close and your ambient uh mic so you can kind of play around with that So yeah, I, I very rarely tweak these, um, but I mean, you can if you want. Get into the piano. You got some of your typical uh, piano features here, kind of your decay, your release volume, your release crossfade, your pedal noise, uh, you know. So, you know. So again, the way these kind of come in, it, I don't see a ton of need for changing them. I mean... You can throw some sympathetic resonance in. Um, it's nice that they offer that because not all libraries have sympathetic resonance. Let's do an extreme version so you can hear it. Versus dead. That just kind of brings it to life a little bit. Same thing with sustained resonance. You know, you can bring that in a little bit if you want to. an in-depth explanation of what those are uh, i would go look those up i learned a long time ago not to try and explain some of these really heady things because i'm not the smartest and i don't know always ex i know what they are but i can't explain them well because it's like when someone asks you well why did you play that it's like, well i just i just did so yeah go look those up sympathetic resonance is probably the most helpful of all these um because that, that is just a real piano sound, is having some degree of sympathetic resonance. So, um, lip position, you know, typical cl uh, open, half. All right, and then you get your closed lid position. So, um, yeah, basic features here. You can adjust stereo width, of course. Um, then you got some of your uh, reverb um, kind of options and EQ options. 
if y'all have watched this channel long enough, you know I don't spend too much time on reverb. Uh, you can flip the stereo image here um, if you want. I, if you want to spend time here, you can. I just don't. Um, but that's just my own personal decision. But it comes with you know a good amount of options. I just I'm such a Valhalla reverb guy that I just use it on everything, um, or like East West or Quantum Spaces or whatever they call it thing. Advanced, um, this is kind of more your back end nitty gritty stuff. You can adjust the velocity curve. Um, I am always going to wish that every single library had the um, feature that Piano Tech has where you can uh, kind of actually program it and it tells you to play soft and medium and loud. I love that. But it's fine. So um, it gives you at least, at least it's not just a light, medium, and heavy. It's super light, super light, 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 and kind of gives you a good, I guess, nine different places on the spectrum. So it's good. Polyphony. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're shredding or playing, you know, busier stuff, you're gonna want to keep it at 128 because you want to have the most available voices available. Um, and so yeah, here's your partial pedaling and re uh, pedaling. Uh, tuning, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's not a ton of features in here. Um, and there doesn't need to be like, I, I've never been a, the more features, the better it, it's, I'm always like the source material. How well is it recorded? And the source material for this is recorded amazingly. So at this point, I'm just going to play a ton because I know that y'all like when I play and not when I talk. And so I'm just going to do that. We're going to fly through, not fly through. I'm just going to play the default settings for classic contemporary and player. Because um, to me, that's kind of what this piano is. So, uh, yeah.
All right, uh, let's load up the contemporary.
CFX Grand. That is what that was. It's an awesome library. Um, yeah, I. That's the state it leaves me in after I play it. I'm just kind of like getting out of that immersion, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I just freaking love this piano. I think this is, this is, man, top three. You got Keyscape in its world, you've got Piano Tech in its world, and then you've got CFX in this world. And I think it just nails this. I mean, this is just nailed. So nailed. So good. So, yeah, um, this is definitely worth having. So make sure to check it out um, if you want it. And thank you all for watching.